It's Sherry Bartley Rivera with Fairfield County Lifestyle Blog here today with Paul Cavana, headmaster of Fairfield Ward High School. Thank you, Paul, so much for taking time out of your busy day to meet with me. Thank you so much for having me. This is a, an honor and it's an honor to serve the Fairfield Ward High School community. So could you tell us a little bit about like a regular day in the student's life, um, how it is when they're actually in person at Ward High School? Great, so I'm very happy to have the hybrid model currently right now because we give the opportunity for kids to come in and participate in online learning. You know, we do have a lot of strategies put in place to keep kids safe. You know, for example, in the cafeteria, the desks are, are spread six feet apart. You know, we had a tent that was set up in the um, in the courtyard for students to be able to have their classes outside and for, for, for lunch purposes. You know, with the weather changing, we are using one, half of our small gym to make sure that we have safety, uh, a safe area for our students to have lunch. You know, the hallways are divided into into two. So there's one one uh, arrow is for walking down the hallway and another arrow is for walking the other way. The classrooms are all spread out six feet apart and the desks are organized there. So there's a lot of, of, of mitigation strategies put in place to keep everyone safe. But other than that, it's you know it's like a normal day of school. You know, kids are in learning, they're they're get participating in labs and activities. You know, what's so cool is that you have your students participating at home and your students participating participating um, in the classroom through some through synchronous learning. So I saw a biology class where the teacher was doing um, some dissections and they were walking around showing the students at home through the Chromebook. So we are uh, making the best of this hybrid model. My daughter Anastasia might have been in that class because she showed me pictures of the frog. Yes. <laughs> she dissected. Oh my gosh. Um, and I just want to make one mention too that you my my kids were telling me that you make it a habit pretty much almost every day to visit the kids in the classroom to say hi. Um, yeah, you know, um, thank you for saying that. It's the highlight of my day every morning, walking around, welcoming our students, welcoming our staff, um, having some small conversation and just making sure that um, we're all connecting because that's really what the most important thing is, um, you know, right now is that we have a school community and we're supporting each other. And thank you for saying that. It's the best part of my day. My kids love it too. They really, really like seeing you saying hello. Um, and then what recommendations do you have for parents on how they can be supportive to students right now? Kind of just what I mentioned, you know, we're a school community. When you have a challenge or you have to go through an obstacle, it's really working together um, really will help us um, not only survive but thrive. So I say parents, make sure obviously you're communicating with, with, your, with your kids, but more importantly, don't feel comfortable to reach out to a teacher, reach out to your school counselor, reach out to an administrator. We do have this house system to support kids and we need to all work together. So the worst thing you could do is say, oh, I don't know if I feel comfortable saying anything or it's just a small thing. Don't do that. Reach out. We can work together and support each other. Okay, great. And do you have a positive experience that you'd like to share um, with our audience? Sure. So um, before I was um, got into administration, I was a social studies teacher. So I love quotes. And, and one of the quotes that I really like was by um, Napoleon. And he said, um, a leader is a dealer in hope. So, um, you know, so one of the most positive things that that I would like to share is just, you know, spreading that philosophy, not only to the community, but to um, our students and to our staff, because it's those opportunities where we celebrate, you know, teachers and students, you know, participating in debates virtually and in the classroom where, like you said, a lab activity or participating in math class or, you know, in cooking classes is we just have to be hopeful and be positive because I think that's how we, uh, you know, we overcome the, you know, some of the challenges that we're facing. Absolutely. It's all about positivity right now. All right, Paul, well, thank you so much for your time today. We'll have to wrap it up and it wouldn't be, it just wouldn't be, we have to do one more thing before we say bye. Sure, I'm happy to end with my with my closing to my phone calls. Uh, remember the Ward way, be welcoming, academic, respectful, dynamic, and ethical. Okay, thank you. Okay, have a great day, everyone, and we'll see you next week.